Let's talk about one last condition that your eyes can really show you and be the window to your solar health problem. Because what I'm showing you right now is, believe it or not, cholesterol buildup in the eye. And if you're someone who eats a fatty diet, maybe you're getting up there in years and you've done this traditionally, what you're looking at here in this animation is the buildup of cholesterol in your bloodstream. We've all heard of cholesterol plaques, but what a lot of people don't realize is those same blood vessels travel to your eye, into your eyeball, and you can get cholesterol deposits throughout your eye, and that's what you're seeing here. A lot of times they'll start at six o'clock or 12 o'clock, but you can develop an actual ring around the eye mm -hmm. of cholesterol deposits, and this can be a sign you've gotta go get your blood cholesterol levels checked mm -hmm. and work on getting them lowered through diet, exercise, and maybe even medications. Yeah. And you know what? It's a problem. If I see this ring around the eye, that white ring, in only one eye, it could indicate that there's an arterial blockage in the other eye, which would place you at an increased risk for stroke. So whenever I see this, this ring around in a patient's eyes, I always say, have a physical exam and get your cholesterol checked. And I'll tell you, in my whole career, there's only been twice where a patient didn't follow this advice, and they both ended up having a stroke. And, and it's really sad yeah. because it could have been prevented. This is a warning sign mm -hmm. that there's a possible health problem. These are actually different cholesterol deposits under the skin of your mm -hmm. eyelids. These can occur in people who don't have cholesterol problems, but certainly if you have these, another reason to make sure your cholesterol levels are okay in your bloodstream. And those don't wipe away. That's yeah. not mucus. Yeah, these are here to stay. Those mm -hmm. are deposits underneath your skin. Here's the take home. You don't need to know what all these signs are necessarily, but you do need to get to your doctor if you're suffering from any of those. Thank you so much for sharing your oh, tips with us today. Oh, my pleasure.